If you clicked on this video, my guess is you want to take a challenge with Funded Engineer. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing them as a firm, talking about their dashboard and their overall trading environment. So let's get started. As you can see here on the screen, I'm currently taking a $100,000 challenge with them and have completed multiple in the past. So I believe I'm definitely qualified to give an opinion on them. This will be a completely unbiased review. As you guys know, there are a lot of scam firms popping up around the industry. So today we'll be seeing if Funded Engineer plays above that standard. Before we break down a Euro USD trade I took earlier this week on the challenge account you can see here. So getting started here on the dashboard, which is the first page you see when you load up their website. A link to their website will be in the description below. So getting started, you can see the layout is really clean and simple. The different account sizes and challenges are here and the rules and regulations can be seen below here. So let's quickly go over these for a second. Firstly, we have the turbo one phase challenge, which is a no time limit, maximum daily loss of 4%, maximum drawdown of 6%, which is trailing drawdown as well. No minimum trading days, a leverage of one to 100 and you can hold over the weekend. Of course, this is one phase. So as soon as you reach this 10% target, you are progressed onto a funded trader with this firm. Looking at the superior two phase challenge, which is the challenge I am currently taking. We have a 10% profit target, which is industry standard, no time limit, a daily loss of 5% instead of 4% on the turbo challenge a maximum drawdown loss of 10% instead of 6% here. So big discrepancy between these two challenges. Of course, one is one phase and then second phase. So this here makes sense. No minimum trading days, one to 100 leverage, and you can also hold over the weekend. So I would say this is a good challenge for any traders who are confident in their skills and have passed challenges in the past. I would recommend you all to take this one. And if you are very confident in your skills and have a verified track record, I would also recommend taking this one. Now, the standard two phase challenge is an 8% profit target, which of course is different to both of these. No time limit, daily loss 5%, 10% on the maximum drawdown loss. No minimum trading days. However, the trade and leverage, which is the difference between this and this, other than the profit targets, the trading leverage is one to 50 instead of one to 100. And then we have weekend holding allowed. So if you are a very experienced trader, I would take this one. However, the maximum drawdown loss can be a bit difficult to manage. So keep in mind that it's 6%, whereas the superior two phase challenge gives you a 10%. I wanted the extra drawdown range here instead of this one, just because if I do go into drawdown, then I can start to risk 0.5% and build that back up to break even. The standard two phase challenge is definitely a good one for any new traders. You have an 8% profit target. The leverage is a bit less, but the 8% target definitely makes up for that. Now, when you do go on to select your challenge, as you can see here, I'm selecting a $100,000 account. You pick your platform between MT4 and MT5, pick your broker and both of these brokers I have used in the past are both very good. I am personally taking the $100,000 challenge right now on Think Markets, so I would recommend either of these to be honest. And the cool thing about Funded Engineer is you can actually add add-ons here. So you have a 90-10 profit share, which costs 20% extra, but if you add the 90 10 profit share when you do get a payout you actually take 90 percent of that home instead of the industry standard of 80 percent also you can add on a seven day payout so instead of waiting for the industry standard of 14 days you can actually select a seven day payout and this way after a week you can withdraw any profits you have made on that account a lot of firms do not offer this and funded engineer offering it i think is very cool if you add both of these, it may cost a little extra, but if you add the 90 10 profit share, of course you're taking much more profit home. And if you add the seven day payout in a shorter amount of time. If you look for the turbo challenge, which I think is a very cool addition, you can see here 
that the phase target is 10%, which is pretty normal across the industry. The daily loss is 4% and a 6% max drawdown. So the main thing here is the price I wanted to look at. For a turbo challenge and the fact that it's one phase, and then if you make 10%, you are a funded trader with this company. $550 for a $100,000 account is not that much. If you were to take a normal two-phase challenge anywhere else, it usually comes to around $460-ish, I find. So an extra $100 will allow you to be able to get a turbo challenge and then pass in one phase before being funded. Especially if you add these two, you can pass the 10% phase and then go into a funded and get a seven day payout. So I think that is really cool. So diving into the actual challenge I'm taking right now, I bought this $100,000 account a few days ago. And as you can see, the equity stands at 103,219. So I am 3.2% up on the account, having taken a few trades. I will break down the Euro trade that took my equity curve at the start to up about 2.7% and we'll break that down later. So as you can see, the challenge is ongoing and I will continue to update you all on this challenge. So far, the trading environment has been really good, I must admit. Um, the spreads have been perfect on Euro. I've only been really trading Euro and NQ quite a bit. Um, I haven't taken too many trades, of course, but when the trades I have taken with them, the spreads have been really tight and the general environments have been good. I had a few questions before starting the challenge and contacted the customer support. They took about a few hours to get back to me on email. That is, I'm sure if you go into the customer support chat, their support will be quicker than that. But over email, they were pretty good. Um, you will find that it usually takes a few hours just because they get so many emails about challenges and other things to respond. So yeah, the customer support is not bad and the trading environment has been good so far. I will keep you updated if anything changes on that part. But the people working for Funded Engineers seem like genuine people. And if we take a look over on the reviews page in a second, you can see that their reviews are really good and I, I would look to recommend this firm. As you can see, we're over on Trustpilot now to look at the reviews. And you can see here a lot of people giving five star, 93% give five star, 3% four star, under 1% on both of these, and then 4% one star. If we take a look and scroll past the reviews, as you can see here, a lot of them are saying excellent service, best prop firm, I had many collabs in them, fair deals, a quick response time, and friendly. I did say this customer support team is great. Seems like a good prop firm. And as you can see here, the giveaways also, a lot of fake giveaways are popping up on Twitter and Instagram. So I would warn you to be careful of them. I think as you can see here, people are saying he won a giveaway and then he actually got given the account. I have seen many instances where fake giveaways are being done on Twitter, where people are just not receiving the accounts and prop firms are tweeting giveaways for likes and follows but these do not seem like that type of firm and just by the sheer amount of five star reviews i would end up recommending this firm so now we are going to dive into the euro usd trade i took with them i'll show you the profit screenshot when we go over the trade itself diving into the breakdown of the euro usd trade I will throw a profit screenshot up in a second. And as you can see, I want to point out something at these highs. We are on the hourly chart. At these highs, we actually have an SMT with the US dollar. So if we head over to the dollar chart, as you can see on the lows here, you can see that this point at Tuesday at 12 and then down to Wednesday, the London open candle, this candle on the London Open did take the low, whereas our Euro USD candle did not actually take the high. So going into New York session, which is what at 7am for Forex, I knew that we had an SMT at the highs and I was bearish to clear out this consolidation here. Now at 7am we opened up 
made a candle which didn't reach into the fair value gap inside here. And then 8 a.m. we did actually reach inside. So when we came up to this fair value gap and mitigated it, I dropped down to the five minute chart. Firstly, and if we look at it here, there's the 7 a.m. open. We had a leg up above into the fair value gap. Notice how the bodies respected the top of it came down past this low which was where my eyes were at and then down also past this low so we came down below this low but what i want to zoom in on here was actually me taking the trade on the one minute chart as you can see in a profit screenshot i did take this on the one minute chart so as we came into the fair value gap i was already anticipating a lot of momentum downwards because dollar had a one minute market maker buy model as well shaping up we have an original consolidation down here on euro usd a leg up accumulation phase one more accumulation before running into the gap again on the one minute notice how the bodies respect the top of the fair value gap this gave me the idea that it was heading lower on this price move now if we zoom into the top of the gap you can see we had a leg down below this low. So as we were moving up into the top of the fair value gap, you can see we dipped into the gap here, creating a low. So this is a swing low inside here. Then we have a high and we break below it. We break below the swing low with lots of momentum here. With this down close candle and we close below it. So I looked for this gap inside here to hold and after it did hold i was anticipating an entry now so after that held we now have bearish order flow and i was anticipating up close candles to support price now this these two up close candles once they close there is a gap inside here which you could enter off i personally didn't just because of how much momentum downside there wasn't as much as this move this is basically what i was looking for instead of this stagnant price action so the two up close candles happened here i would have taken an entry like this if we would have got a return to the candles with my stop above them and then target this low probably however we did not clearly get a return to the candles so as we would kept going down here i noticed we have a gap on the other side of the market now we have a gap here, but our main focus is on, we want to sell because we are trying to go short on the sell side of the curve. We want to sell where institutions previously bought at. So as you can see here, we have a succession of down close candles, which is our order block on the buy side. So this was used for buys. Now I noticed this order block as we were moving down lined up with a fair value gap inside here. So when we were at this bit of price action here, I noticed we had mitigation on the other side of the curve. That is why I didn't anticipate a return to the order block and wanted this gap inside here to hold as an IO Fed. So an IO Fed is institutional order flow entry drill and it is basically where price wicks in and then closes below and quickly runs to your target. So I anticipated this to give us an IO Fed entry instead of reaching up into the order block or the larger gap here simply because of this mitigation on the buy side of the curve as you can see here on the screenshot i took cells from this point i had my stop loss above the bodies of the up close candles just in case it did want to reach up into there and then i aimed for the original consolidation and that gave me a perfect one to two. As you can see here, the good thing about IOFED is once you're in, it quickly runs towards your target and this consolidation. So, and also, as you can see on a profit screenshot, you can see that Funded Engineers platform was great. The spreads were tight. As you can see, I market execute. As you guys can see here, I market executed as we came into the IOFED gap. And it put me in exactly where I wanted it before running lower and taking out our take profit. So yeah, this was just a quick breakdown of the trade I took with Funded Engineers platform.
Um, if you guys do want to check out their website, there's a link in the description. And overall, to top off the review, I would definitely recommend them. They seem like trustworthy people. Their reviews are good. Their trading environment from what I've traded so far has been great. I took another trade on NAS, which actually went into profit, but then came back and took me out at break even. But the spreads on that were perfect and nothing went wrong. Nothing bad to say, really. So, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the review and the breakdown of this Euro trade. As I said, Funded Engineers links are in the description and the links to my social medias are also in the description. If you want to follow me over there, I'm always posting and be sure to like and subscribe this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.